Hi guys, and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda, and this is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. Today I have a haul for you. Um, let me pull out these first. Uh, you guys know I'm on a low buy, and I'm trying not to buy things that I don't need, um, just because I want them and they look really cool. Uh, so this is a small haul, and it's been over the past, uh, I think two months that I've been purchasing these things. Uh, the first thing is a new item that I purchased, and I wanted to try gouache. So this is just Reeves gouache from um, Michaels. I have to be honest, I'm not 100% in love with this gouache. Um, it's not behaving the way I've seen the videos online behave with gouache, and I think it's because of the quality of it. Um, but that's all that Michaels had, and so I was being impatient, and I really wanted to try it, so um, this is not my favorite, and so I've not fell in love with the medium gouache, and I haven't done any tutorials with it. If you guys have a suggestion of what gouache I should try, one that's um, not too pricey, but a little better quality, or a lot better quality than the Reeves, um, I'm sure other people can coax it and do what it needs to do, but... Um, for me, it did not work, and, and I know that there are other people who might be able to work with this. Um, but like I said, for me, it, it didn't work out for this brand and for gouache. Maybe gouache isn't for me, I don't know, um, but I'm willing to give it another try. So if you have suggestions, please leave that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. I did buy it with a coupon. Um, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was $10 regularly um, for this whole set. I think that's what it was. Um, plus I had the coupon on top of it, of course, and I think, I don't remember if the coupon was 20 or 30% off. So, um, so it wasn't too, too bad. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing I did purchase. I purchased this at Who Gives a Scrap. It was $25 and the tag said regularly 65. Uh, I do get a teacher discount. I think it's 20% off because I do teach classes at Who Gives a Scrap. So I, I do get a discount and I don't remember if it's 10 or 20% off. Um, I know it's terrible not to remember, but their prices are so very good. Even paying full price, I don't mind. Uh, but what it is, it's a um, yarn winder. So you put your hank of yarn on here and then you can wind it into, I think, a cake, they call it. But um, So I have some hanks of yarn, um, you know, so you get some hand-dyed yarn. Uh, and so this allows me to wind it so I can easily crochet with it and work with it. I've had this, I think, two months now, and I've used it actually quite a bit. Um, so I was very excited to find this. It's been on my wish list, on Amazon wish list for a while. Um, and But to find it at Who Gives a Scrap, I, I was pretty excited. So I, I did pick up this a little while ago, and... I can never get it back in the box right, but <laughs> anyway, very excited for that. Um, I don't know anything about the brand, but all I know is that it works perfectly and I've had no trouble with it. Uh, and it's been fantastic. So I found the next few things I, I have are items that I just picked up last week and these were from Who Gives a Scrap and she was having a, t oh no, a 50% off sale. It was a 50% off sale. So normally this was 25 cents and these uh, puppy 3D stickers, I thought they were beautiful and I thought these would be really perfect for some cards to make. Uh, I just think they're really pretty. Um, half of 25 cents, not a big deal. I thought that was a very good price. These are on the 50% off sale as well. They are actually Tuscan crochet hooks. Um, my sister asked me to look for these hooks at Who Gives a Scrap next time I went, see if they even had them. Um, she just had me keep my eye out for them and they had four sizes. I was pretty excited. Um, we have a nine, an H, a K, and an I of the sizes here. And they were each a dollar regularly, but 50% off, so they we each were 50 cents. This one's a little bent. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of a little wobbly. I'm sure she can straighten it out if she needs to. She wanted to try this technique of Tuscan crochet, and she thought the best way to do it is to pick up stuff from Who Gives a Scrap. But she lives in Arizona, so it's a little hard to commute. So I have these for her. I found these really pretty letters at Who Gives a Scrap. Once again, on the 50% off sale, they've got um, text on each of the letters. They were 75 cents for the whole pack and you now 50% of that, so great deal. These are really pretty letters. Uh, I don't know, they just say printed letters. I don't know the brand. They have been opened, but there's still a lot of letters to be able to use. This was fun. I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's called dip dots and it looks like it's from the 70s so we'll try this out after 
I show you guys my haul. Um, I just thought this was really funny. It was 75 cents, 50% off. And I just thought that was great. And these look like so much fun. Um, instant water fun from Play-Doh. I'm just going to try them out, see what they do. I don't know. I was just curious. For 75 cents or half of 75 cents, I'm going to try it out. The last thing I have is this tray, um, and it was $6, so half of that is $3. I have a project I want to do where I do glass mosaic, but I've never done it before this exact technique I'm going to do, so I thought it would be best to practice on something before I get to my real project. I just go full steam ahead and I don't practice and I just jump right in and nine times out of ten it works but I didn't want to ruin this project that I'm going to do so I thought I'd have a practice one. I will take you guys along with my practice as we try it out um, and we'll see how it goes but I thought this was a really pretty tray and for three dollars I thought it was a great deal. That is my mini haul. I didn't buy a lot recently, just a few items uh, to try out, to uh, look at, to all of those fun things. All right, so I have some watercolor paper. It's just the Strathmore watercolor postcards, um, just a little one. I'm just going to play because we're gonna try these dip dots. First thing we need to do is take them out of the package. I think these are brand new. I don't think they've ever been used. All right, so they're out of the package and they still have the tape over the top of them. So that's why I think that these have never been used. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the tape off. And there, there's a little plastic in there, it said. It said, so I'll remove the tape and then push down with a brush to break the seal. So there's another seal in here. And I'm pushing down with the bottom of my brush so that I don't break the bristles. I feel that it's hard. It says the spill proof well reseals. Um, and then if you need to reconstitute it, if it's been too dried out, add some water. But I don't think I broke the seal yet. It came with two brushes. This may be too old to even use, and if it is, well, then that's a bummer. All right, so I really pushed down on this red um, to get it, and I have this little tool. Uh, I have a whole kit of them, and I got it at Harbor Freight. It's kind of like dental tools, um, very little. All right, so this is the red, and I'm just, all right. Maybe we can make a rainbow. I'm going to say the color's not very bright. To get in here, you kind of have to like swirl around the edge to kind of get it, because I broke the seal, um, but it's hard to, to get to it. Uh, and like I said, the color, it's not very bright. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Maybe, let me grab some darker colors. Let me, let me pop this purple, the seal for that. Um, my rainbow isn't going to be a very good rainbow, but let's let's swirl in there. Um, oh yeah, you can see that I have a little bit on there, and well, this purple's more more of a blue, but that's okay. So here are my colors. Uh, this one right here it says uh, purple, and it looks more like a blue, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, it, it does work. The colors are very, very faded. Uh, they're not not very dark at all. Um, this light, light blue color is really pretty. I was thinking this would be really fun for my nieces and nephews to use uh, when they come visit or you know, send it home with uh, parents or whatever, but it's kind of hard to use at this point. It's a little on the frustrating side. So this does tell me that use your art supplies. They dry up and they aren't as usable as they are at the beginning. And it's a really pretty light blue. So there we go. We tried out the dip dots. Um, lots of fun to try out to see how they work. They still work, which is really cool. Um, but most watercolors still work after a while. You just add more water into them. Um, 
But yeah, that's really fun. Has any of you guys had these when you were a kid, these dip dots? Um, if you have, let me know. Just put it in the comments down below if you remember them. Uh, I don't remember them when I was a kid, uh, but I don't know when they came out either. So yeah, there we go. That was lots of fun to play with. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. I have two Instagrams. I have Take Time to Create, which is all my crafty goodies, all this fun stuff. I also have um, Linda's Journey 78, which is my personal one, just my personal journey. Lots of fun. I'd love to have you follow along on both. All the links to all my social networks are in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.